Good morning, everybody. It's Father Josh Stevens, the rector of St. John in the Wilderness in Flat Rock, North Carolina. And we thought it'd be really neat to um, bring our morning prayer tradition back, at least for today and uh, any other days where we can pull it off. Uh, we usually say morning prayer together at about this time. And I've got Wilder with me and Arlo, and they're going to help us out a little bit. How have you guys been doing? Good. Good. Who do you want to say hi to that might see the video? Nora Grayson, Hugh, Cora, yeah. Roz. Roz. Yeah. And Ada. And, Ada. and Brooke and Claire. Maybe. And Brooke and Claire, yeah. And I pray for Eloise and Francis. Eloise and Francis. Any other friends from your school, Wilder, that you want to pray for? Pray for my school first. For your school. And we think about Emily Ann, Lily Carter. Mm. Yeah. And some of our other friends from church, too. I hope that they're all doing pretty well. Bye bye. Yeah. And we're thinking of all you all. I hope that you're doing well, too. And uh, stay encouraged and. Um, I hope that saying our prayers together today will help you. All right, Wilder, come here. Not yet. Not yet. Come here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to begin with morning prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. Arlo, can you say the first part nice and loud? Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Wilder, can you help us say... Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And Alleluia. Alleluia. Okay, now we're going to say together the Jubilate, which is on page 82 of the Book of Common Prayer. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Wilder, can you come here? And let's do one last prayer. Do you have a prayer that you want to say? Come on over here and say hi. Jesus, come on. Um, I'll five. Yeah, come on over here. We can do one last prayer and then you guys can go, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Do you all have a prayer you want to say with everybody? I, I did pray. Father. Go ahead and start. Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, how be thy name. Thy kingdom come, I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And we let not into temptation to deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. How about we do the 23rd Psalm too, okay? okay. Would that be good? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk to the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear the evil, for thou art with me. But in thy staff they comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. 
She's really good. She'll follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, I'm going to keep saying morning prayer. Do you all want to say bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You want to come say bye, Wilder? (laughs) Bye-bye. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. All right, well, there's a good uh, bit of joy for you this morning if you're in need of that. We will continue with our Psalms, Psalm 97 and 99, and then we'll have our readings following that. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees it and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness. And all the people see his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in false gods. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice. Because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord, most high over all the earth. You you are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joyful gladness for those who are true hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. And we continue with Psalm 99. The Lord is king, let the people tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is high above all peoples. Let them confess his name, which is great and awesome. He is the Holy One. O mighty King, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and fall down before his footstool. He is the Holy One. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them out of a pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the decree that he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them indeed. You were a God who forgave them, yet punished them for their evil deeds. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill. For the Lord is our God is the Holy One. And then together we say, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When we had parted from the elders of the church at Ephesus and set sail, we came by a straight course to Kos, and the next day to Rhodes, and from there to Patara. And having found a ship crossing to Phoenicia, we went aboard and set sail. We had come in sight of Cyprus, leaving it on the left, we sailed to Syria and landed at Tyre. For there the ship was to unload its cargo. And having sought out the disciples, we stayed there for seven days. Through the Spirit, they told Paul not to go on to Jerusalem. And when our days there were ended, we departed and went on our journey. And they all, with wives and children, brought us on our way till we were outside the city. And kneeling down on the beach, we prayed and bade one another farewell. Then we went aboard the ship, and they returned home. When we had finished the voyage from Tyre, we arrived at Telemai, and we greeted the brethren and stayed with them for one day. 
On the morrow, we departed and came to Caesarea, and we entered the house of Philip, the evangelist, who was one of the seven, and stayed with him. And he had four unmarried daughters who prophesied. While we were staying for some days, a prophet named Agabus came down from Judea. And coming to us, he took Paul's girdle and bound his own feet and hands and said, Thus says the Holy Spirit, So shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind the man who owns this girdle and deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. When we heard this, we and the people there begged him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, What are you doing, weeping and breaking my heart? For I am ready, not only to be imprisoned, but even to die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. And when he would not be persuaded, we ceased and said, The will of the Lord be done. Here ends the reading. We will continue with Canticle 13. Canticle 13 is on page 90 of the Book of Common Prayer. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. We are, you are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths and the high vaults of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus was in one of the cities, there came a man full of leprosy. And when he saw Jesus, he fell on his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I do will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. And he charged him to tell no one, but... Go and show yourself to the priest and make an offering for your cleansing as Moses commanded for a proof to the people. But so much more the report went abroad concerning him and great multitudes gathered to hear and to be healed of their infirmities. But Jesus withdrew to the wilderness and he prayed. On one of those days as he was teaching, there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with him to heal. And behold, men were bringing on a bed a man who was paralyzed, and they sought to bring him in and lay him before Jesus. But finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and let him down with his bed through the tiles of the roof into the midst before Jesus. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said, Man, your sins are forgiven. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to question him, saying, Who is this that speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? When Jesus perceived their questioning, he answered them, Why do you question in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven you, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, take up your bed, and go home. And immediately he rose before them and went home, glorifying God. And amazement seized them all. And they glorified God and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. Well, as we continue in our recovery from this storm, um, I wonder about where your spirit is at uh, and how you're thinking through and praying through the experiences. Uh, There uh, is a lot of destruction and a lot of heartbreak um, 
and a lot of, uh, you know, frankly, a lot of inconvenience as we uh, struggle to be able to go about life the way that we normally would. There's also a lot of gratitude, right? A lot of things we're grateful for, people that are okay, um, the fact that we are getting by, a lot of us, um, and we've been able to connect with people since the, uh, the storm came through. Also, as this reading concluded, uh, when people saw the, the wonders of God uh, through Jesus, they said, we have seen strange things today. And I think of the incredible love we're seeing poured out in our communities, restaurants cooking for people for free, uh, folks driving in water, um, communities checking in on folks and taking the time to uh, make sure that the people are getting by and they're surviving okay. Uh, incredible love poured out uh, through so many people in so many different ways. And the, the hard, hard work as well of uh, the... Uh, First responders, the um, the linemen, uh, Duke Power, and uh, and the Department of Transportation, and, and all the work they're doing on the roads. So you might say, like these folks that saw Jesus healing this man, we have seen strange things today, strange and, and wonderful things as people pour out their hearts with such love uh, to try to make sure that. Um, that no one is left out, no one's alone, and that everyone can get through this difficult time. So may that continue, and may your prayers continue, and may you pray through and think through all that you're feeling and all that you're experiencing, so that God may be with you in it. Amen. We will continue with Canticle 18, which is on page 93 of the Book of Common Prayer. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. We continue with the Apostles' Creed and the Prayers on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. You are saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, who declares your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity, mercifully grant unto us such a measure of your grace that we, running to obtain your promises, may be made partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. 
Defend us, your humble servants, and all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. (coughs) I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving at this time. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope Fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for praying with me today, guys. I hope that y'all are able to have a good day. Uh, We are going to try to gather in person for evening prayer tomorrow, Wednesday, October the 2nd at um, 4 o'clock to check in and then 4.30 for the evening prayer service. And we're hoping to have church in person this Sunday at 10 o'clock in the parish hall. Uh, Please be in touch. Let us know how you're doing. And uh, we appreciate all your prayers and support. We'll see you soon. Peace.